Good afternoon. It is my pleasure to welcome you on this winter's day to the University of Manchester and the splendid surroundings of the Whitworth Hall for this graduation ceremony. In particular, I'd like to welcome our graduates whose magnificent achievements and hard work we are here to celebrate today. I would also like to welcome those of you who are here as family and friends. Many of you have traveled long distances. We're delighted to see you at the university and thank you for the help, support and encouragement that you've given our graduates during their studies. In fact, I would like to invite our graduates to stand up and give a round of applause to those who have supported you. A degree ceremony is a rite of passage marking the move from one stage of life to another. Some of you will remain in higher education and research, but for many, the transformation is to the world of work. If you're still feeling the effects of your examinations or the pressure of deadlines for your theses, you can take some comfort in the thought that while education is never complete, the rewards for what you've achieved so far are now at hand. The early days of most people's careers can be challenging, but those of you who are graduating today have given yourselves a real competitive edge by completing your degree here in Manchester. Our alumni occupy the highest positions in the worlds of business, the professions, government and the creative sectors. Future leaders in all of these domains are sitting here in front of me now. You'll see around you on the campus some of the investments we're making in buildings and equipment to improve the experience of our students and to keep our research at the leading edge. But it's not these that make this university so great and successful. It's our staff, our students, our people. You've helped to make the university what it is today, and this ceremony is just as much about honoring you for this valuable contribution as for your success in your academic studies. Obtaining your degree is a hugely important milestone and you should celebrate that success. But it's the beginning of your journey, and it's the beginning of your association with the University of Manchester, not the end. As the class of 2014, you'll not only take with you the friendships formed in the years with us, but also membership of the wider family of a quarter of a million who come together in our alumni association. One last message before we proceed is to remind you that your university degree does not only confer upon you a recognition of the knowledge that you've gained. In this age where trust in many of our leading public and private institutions has been damaged, we rely even more upon the integrity and informed skepticism that the trained mind can offer. Social responsibility and equity are also deeply ingrained here. Wherever you go in the world, you're also responsible for carrying those values which really do make the world a better place. I would now like to invite Professor Hugh Coe to address you on behalf of the School of Earth, Atmospheric and Environmental Sciences. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to all our graduates and their family and friends. For me, as head of School of Earth, Atmospheric and Environmental Sciences, this is always a fantastic day and one of the highlights of my year. As usual, I look forward to joining with all our students in celebrating your success. The school covers a very broad range of disciplines and we are proud of our research profile. A recent example of our research appeared in Nature Scientific Re Reports this autumn with a team from Trexel University in the USA. Two new titanosaur dinosaurs were discovered in Patagonia. They have been named Dreadnoughtus shranii and are among the largest dinosaurs ever discovered. The fossils are around 26 metres long. That's about two and a half double-decker buses parked end to end. And they weigh about, well, close to 60 metric tonnes, or about 10 elephants. 
These are really huge beasts. The fossils were about three quarters complete, very rare for such huge fossils, and providing really important information on the physiology of these big beasts and an understanding of the environment in which they developed. Despite this huge size, the analysis of the bone history has revealed they were growing fast when they died. It seems youngsters have always been getting bigger. We have a number of graduates today who studied for an MSc in Petroleum Geoscience. The comments we received from the many industrial representatives at the presentation day of your, uh, the work that you'd undertaken was really great. They were massively impressed by the quality of what you had to show. You're our future ambassadors in this sector, and as you go forward to work across the globe, we look forward to you maintaining the links with us as part of our large and growing network of alumni. The recent fall in oil price will make the future a little bit more challenging for the industry, but as exploration and extraction uh, become more complex in the future, then the global industry will continue to grow its huge capacity for strong technical quality. And we're confident that with a Manchester degree, you will go on to very successful careers in the future. Our environmental science master's students are graduating today. You've been closely involved in research at the forefront of nuclear disposal and work closely with our research groups across a range of environmental science disciplines. I am to told that all of you had great fun getting wet in the Peak District in Ang Anglesey during your field trip though I can tell from some of the looks on your faces that uh, your programme director probably has a broader sense of what fun is than, than some of you do, I guess. You've been an exceptionally good cohort of students this year. Over half of you have, been, have gained the distinction, and all of you have done, performed excellently in your dissertations, several of which have contributed to published research, and all of which have guided further study. This is really a great achievement. Well done to all of you. Your degrees are very much sought after as environmental challenges in research and in the industrial se sector continue to become more complex and costly. And like a geoscientist, I have no doubt that you will be hugely successful in your future careers and be highly amb effective ambassadors for the course in Manchester. A number of our successful PhD students are graduating today. As I've already said, our school is internationally leading in its research and you are the engine room that drives that. A PhD is a journey, exploring a subject in some detail, identifying key research problems, developing your independent research skills, and going on to make significant contributions to scientific knowledge in your own right. Those of you graduating with PhDs today have contributed to improving our knowledge of the atmosphere by investigating the impact of biomass burning and pollution, quantifying the sources of methane in the atmosphere, Methane is a strong greenhouse gas, and that's a really important thing to be assessing. And studying ice formation in clouds, a key process in the formation of rain. Our geoscientists have investigated how the properties of rock affect the behavior of geological faults, important for earthquake prediction, how minerals form as the earth crust interacts with the mantle below the surface, and have investigated how sediments formed in rivers, systems that are important as oil and gas reservoirs. Our environmental scientists have looked at the influence of soil chemistry and geology in playing a, a controlling influence on microbial response and variability. They have examined the relationship between radionuclides and minerals to understand how effective nuclear containment in a long-term storage facility would be. I'm sure you'll agree these are all important problems facing us and our future world. And I'm extremely pleased that such great research is being delivered by the next generation of research scientists. Alumni from our school have gone on to become leaders in the mining and hydrocarbon industries, a member of the school's environmental research liaison, industrial liaison board, who was a past graduate, who now runs his own UK environmental consultancy business. Other alumni include the current executive director of the British Geological Survey and the previous deputy chief scientist of the Met Office. Manchester graduates in our school are leading contributors in many areas and I'm sure that those of you graduating today will all build on the hard work and dedication you've displayed through your time with us and go on to achieve the greatest success in the future. You all very much deserve it. We wish you all the very best in your future careers. Congratulations to you all, and please keep in touch. Well done.
Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Scott Archer Nichols. Nicola Jane Ashton. Amy Claire Ellis. Alice Rachel Gulliford. Gary Lloyd. Timothy Marshall. Sebastian O'Shea. Alexandra Quas Cohen. Dominique Emma Young. And for the degree of Master of Science, Petroleum Geoscience for Exploration, Sarah Kate Barber. <laughs> Laura Benny. <laughs> James Peter Brock. <laughs> David Robert Cox. Gloria Enrucci Enwuka. Christopher Allen Gilman. Alexander Thomas Hughes Wharton. Onyakachi Noble Ibizim. Joseph Tetley Flariot. <laughs> Nurul Adila Binti Manshur. <laughs> Andrew Charles Miles. <laughs> Nadira Binti Maud Sarif. Chibugo Ernest Nwaki. Amy Nyman. Onie Benilado Derek Odoniri. Chinedu Christian Ogbuangu. Arneel Singh Ratacek. <laughs> Amelia Catherine Smethers. <laughs> Odile Kevin Mateus Wola. <laughs> Zin Zhang. Ji Zhu. And in Petroleum Geoscience for Reservoir Development and Production, Catherine Lisa Brinkliffe. Eduardo Fiorda Lacey. Sharul Nizam bin Hassan. Jonathan David Markham. <laughs> Samad Shafisoy. <laughs> James Stevenson. <laughs> Ifunanya Oluchi Tabanasi. <laughs> Nena Kalu. Udochu.
Jack Williams. <laughs> and in pollution and environmental control, Alexandra Lucy Finlayson. <laughs> Olivia Lynn Tramp. And for the degree of Master of Earth Science with Honours, Daniel Mitchell. And for the degree of Bachelor of Science Environmental Science with Honours, Christopher John Warden. I would now like to ask Professor Peter Stansley to address you on behalf of the School of Mechanical Aerospace and Civil Engineering. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a great pleasure for me to say a few words about the School of Mechanical Aerospace and Civil Engineering and its relation to engineering in the, model, in the modern world where we face very large challenges. Today we have an expanding world population and hunger for energy and basic need for water and food. The Technology Strategy Board talks of the energy trilemma, which is security of energy supply, lowering carbon emissions, keeping energy costs down. The National Environmental Research Council speaks of the food-water climate nexus. Solutions are in low carbon energy generation, obviously, but also more efficient use of energy, better energy conservation in buildings. And there are future um, controversial projects uh, such as fracking and, and HS2 which are um, under review. Engineering has thus got a vital role to play in designing and de-risking these projects and this must be linked to the economic um, policy influencing social awareness and practice. These problems are worldwide where the UK and Europe can lead and Manchester play a, an influential role. This is not actually new to, to Manchester. Going back to the beginning, the university originated in Victorian times in response to the engineering challenges of the Industrial Revolution, which was centered in the Northwest. You will have seen 1824 on the university logo which was the date for the formation of the Institute of Mechanics and the university soon followed in 1851, known as Owens College. And in 1868, the university appointed the first professor of engineering, actually civil and mechanical engineering, in, in the UK. There's been a strong legacy of many famous names since then. At, at, at present, the school has a particular focus on energy generation, both nuclear in all aspects and renewable energy, including wind, marine, and bioenergy and on associated manufacturing technology, all integrating with climate change effects and carbon emissions through Tyndall Manchester. The areas of structural and fire engineering are a major activity influencing big projects like the Shard in London, and aerospace has very strong industrial connections in the Northwest. As well as our undergraduate courses, um, our master's courses are a major and successful part of the school. There are the flagship um, management programs called Management of Projects and the executive um, project, uh, um, programs known as PMPDP, and important technical programs covering manufacturing, aerospace, reliability, design, structures, fluids, and renewable energy. These are successful courses attracting many students from, from many countries. It's important to mention um, a development which is known as MECD, which stands for Manchester Engineering Campus Development. Engineering is advancing rapidly and broadening in scope. And provision for teaching and research needs to move with the times and the different forms of engineering, not only civil and mechanical and aerospace, but electrical, chemical, materials, need to benefit from better connection and integration. The new engineering campus is being designed to this end, and it's moving um, to this campus actually around here um, in, to be in closer proximity with the science and math schools. Uh, a sum of £200 million is being invested with a planned opening in 2018. 
This is important in its own right, but particularly in the face of international competition where the US has always been prominent, but we're also seeing an unprecedented investment in higher education in China. Um, and this is on a, on, a, on, a, on a global scale, which is um, not been um, seen before. Um, returning to um, our, uh, our graduate achievements, there have been some notable prize winners um, amongst the undergraduates. Um, the Flight Simulation Society won the UK and international It Flies competition. Angie Therese was awarded the Engineering Leadership Advanced Award by the Royal Academy of Engineering and Fong Tu was awarded the Sir William um, Siemens Medal for Manchester. Uh, our PhD programs produce many outstanding researchers, but one particular I should mention who is um, Andrew Welfel, who won the university's um, Postgraduate Research Student Award and then was selected to represent the university at the Global Young Scientist Summit in Singapore which is a very prestigious event attended by Nobel laureates and key policy makers. Uh, there have also been some notable achievements amongst the staff. Professor Lin Lee was elected to, uh, as a fellow of the Royal Academy of Engineering. He also won the Sir Frank Whittle Medal for Outstanding and Sustained Research in Manufacturing, um, and also the Royal Society Wolfson Merit Award for Research in Laser Nanofabrication and Nanoimaging. Brian Launder won the Nussel Reynolds Prize for outstanding contributions to mathematical models of modeling of turbulence. And Professor Mike Smith has been awarded a five-year uh, fellowship on welding technology for nuclear reactors. These are all major achievements. Um, <clears throat> oh, yes, and Professor Tim Abraham <coughs> excuse me, has been uh, awarded a very large equipment grant of two and a half million pounds from the Department of Business Innovation and Skills for his uh, nuclear fuel center of excellence. Um, with our buoyant student applications and healthy research income, the school has actually made 20 new appointments in the, in the past two years, representing a most important investment by the university. And this is helping the aims of the school in meeting the challenges of, of the modern world through research and teaching. Uh, and an example of the impact of um, the school and engineering more broadly, uh, in the autumn statement, the Chancellor, George Osborne, announced a new institute to be called the, the Sir Henry Royce Institute for Materials Research and Innovation. Sir Henry Royce being the, the, the man in the Rolls-Royce uh, name. Uh, this will allow the UK to grow its world-leading research base in advanced materials engineering and science which is fundamental to all industrial sectors. And it's actually got a value of, again, a large sum of 235 million pounds. This will be based in Manchester with a spokes in Sheffield, Leeds, Liverpool, Cambridge, Oxford, and Imperial College. So finally, I would just like to congratulate you on behalf of myself, but also um, all, all members of staff on, on your degrees, which have involved a lot of hard work, inspiration, and dedication. And um, uh, I would like to wish you again, on behalf of all the members of staff, the very best of luck for the, with the future, and of course, a very great Christmas. Thank you very much. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Ada Abadi. <laughs> Ishtiak Ahmed. <laughs> Ionis Asprulias. Jian Al Hajri, <laughs> Mahmoud Assad, <laughs> Nilanjan Das Chakladar, <laughs> David Jimenez Cruz.
Chuo Lu. <laughs> Mohsen Najafi. <laughs> Emmanuel Agikum Nitumi. Maud Rashdan Saad. <laughs> Gedi Ade Sisuli. <laughs> Vakari Tante Suvanich Kul. <laughs> Yao Wang. Zing Yu Jiong. <laughs> and for the degree of Master of Science, Advanced Manufacturing Technology and Systems Management, Erfan Abdullahi. <laughs> Swapnil Shirish Ansar Wadikar. Hun Chow. <laughs> Zhao Long Chen. <laughs> Alex Dabrowski. <laughs> Ung Mayo Hain. Christophorus Conto Giogarkis. <laughs> Feng Yuan Liu. <laughs> Mohit Patil. <laughs> Venkat Akshid Pendyala. Angelo Warrell Picardo. <laughs> Anup Reddy Ramea Apana. <laughs> Pedro Luis Soto Elvira. <laughs> Yibo Sun. And in aerospace engineering, Jamio Adikola Eodi, <laughs> Paolo Bastianelli, <laughs> Kautuk Abhe Chada, <laughs> Mohammed Ahmed Mohammed Ahmed El Gadawi. Hasna Nur Fadila. <laughs> Matthew Gent. <laughs> Thomas Michael Hines. <laughs> Samuel James Hunter. Ankitha Ayer. <laughs> Mustafa Kassap. <laughs> Chern Rui Lim. <laughs> Noshin Sultana Mebub Basha. Mohammed Ashraf bin Mokrizal. <laughs> Marco Giuseppe Nasuto. <laughs> Mathinan Nithayananthan. <laughs> Mohammed Izad Afif bin Norden. De Payan Roy Chowdhury.
Panya Wood, Suk Fan Pim. <laughs> Kalevanan Thirupathi. <laughs> tai Wang. <laughs> Qian Zhang. And in maintenance engineering and asset management, Maria del Carmen Garcia Lizaraga. <laughs> Ola Yemi Akinwumi Akinola. <laughs> Mohammed Nasser Al Te. <laughs> Emmett Matthew Byrne. Jonathan Crane. <laughs> Victor George Essienton. <laughs> Anthony Hughes. <laughs> Amy Eamon John Nicol Lingang. Stuart James Noble. <laughs> Mary Ogenevo Otimu. <laughs> James Michael Reed. <laughs> Scott Alexander Rennie. Mohammed Rifki Yanto. <laughs> Gabriela Fernanda Sanchez Espinoza. <laughs> Mood Hisham Suheli. <laughs> and in mechanical engineering design, Zaid Yeya Salem H. Abu Kumar. Mohammed Akmal bin Abu Hassan. Omar Abdullah Abu Hebeya. Omar Mustafa Hassan Al Musa. Aaron Zekakwu Linus Aneki. Suwapach Otomapanyanan. <laughs> Rajidi bin Awuludin. <laughs> Marcus Burnham. <laughs> Diego Camilo Cancino Silva. Ji Yi Chen. <laughs> Arifil Quader Chowdhury. <laughs> Jai Wei Gao. <laughs> Daniel Gortat. Ching He. Samuel Thomas Horn. Anne Hu. Shui Jiang. Oliver William Jones. <laughs> Taran Jujari. <laughs> Hao Kong. <laughs> K 
Kian Sin Lee. Christina Latsu. Tian Yong Lee. Ji Chiu Liu. Yao Kun Ma. Shi Yam Madan. Mikel Martinez Garcia. Olan Rewaju E Yubame Omoya. Michael Uzazi Orhu. Lei Chi. Sumon Kumar Roy. C. I. Rani bin Sedan Mukhtar. Eniola Oluwato Biloba Sawyer. Chutimon Subka. Langshan Wang. Tian Yi Wang. Mohamed Suheb Biyani. <laughs> Melanie Alice Watson. <laughs> Ke Chen Zhu. <laughs> Yun Peng Zhang. Zihan Zhu. <laughs> Naim Sokifli. <laughs> and in structural engineering, Mohammed Newman. <laughs> Akinwale Sunday Adibiyi. Badrul Munir bin Maud Radzi. <laughs> Christophe Pascal Thomas Bacour. <laughs> Simon Thomas Casey. <laughs> Mifonido Ocon Emma. Jad Gebran. Maria Gekuma. Santosh Kumar Karuna Karan. Issan Keskin. Jia John Luo. <laughs> Fatma Azara Mahmud. <laughs> Hong Wei Mark. <laughs> Kin Sui Mayat. Karthik Ravi Kumar.
Siddharth Selva Mohan. Hao Shen. Faisal Dilshad Siddiqui. Valerio Stewart. Tabod Taju Fona. Shui Ching Wei. Chow Yuan Wei. Dao Yu Jing. Tian Yi Zhu. Ji Kai Zhu. Luke Xiang Jian. Jin Hong Ying. Yi Feng Zhang. Yui Jian Zhu. Tang Zing Wei. And in thermal power and fluid engineering, Prithiv John. Akshay Anil Pawar. Chunjie Yin. And for the Postgraduate Certificate Aerospace Engineering, Timothy Malenga. And for the degree of Master of Engineering, Aerospace Engineering with honours, Davis Mataruka. <laughs> and in Civil Engineering with honours, Edmund Gent. And in Civil Engineering Enterprise with honours, Matthew Dutton. And for the degree of Bachelor of Engineering, Aerospace Engineering with honours, Adam Cameron Stewart Jackson. And in Civil Engineering with honours, Samuel Rory Dempsey Handyside. Nathan Necruz. <laughs> Ali Rizak. <laughs> Hong In Ung. <laughs> and in mechanical engineering, Kevin Ishinesu Makuvero. On behalf of the university, I once again congratulate all of you graduating here today on your excellent achievements. And I wish you success and happiness in your future lives and careers. You're graduates now, you can put your hats on. <laughs>